Um, I feel our season has gone pretty well. Um, we're four and six. We usually, you know, we played two Big Ten teams and Marquette, Big East, and the Colorado State. So, and I tried to get good teams in the beginning that we might take some lumps, but it just gets us better and stronger and ready for conference. Because I, I really don't go into so much as, of course, you want to have a winning record, but I want to, I want to win the con the conference, and that's that's the main reason. So, but the girls are doing great. The the freshmen are, are coming around really well. Berta is is really stepping it up. She beat Wisconsin, and she played an unbelievable match against Minnesota, where Haley was hurt, so she played four. And Minnesota is usually like in the top 75 in the country, and she best I've ever seen her play. I was, I'm, I'm so happy with that. Um, she lost 10-7 tiebreak or something like that in the third. And then, um, and Nicole is, is playing really well. You know, she's got a totally not characteristic of, a, of women's tennis because she volleys so well. So she's like, almost like a Pam Shriver of chipping and charging. And, and, and you know, she's, she's responding really well. All three of them are really, Learning a lot. We have a good rapport. You know, I, they they listen to what I say, so it's it's good. I mean, the the chemistry of the team's always been good, and the three seniors keep it together. You know, they joke around a little bit, and and but you know they've taken the three freshmen under their wing. I mean, um, Berta's hanging out with Alyssa because they're playing doubles together, and um, it's it's a it's a good dynamic. It really it really is. I'm, I'm happy where it is because that's chemistry is everything. If you have chemistry in the locker room and with the team, things are going to go good. Like I said the last time we talked, is is I have a very very unbelievably talented team, and it's it's the 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 hardest or the most important six inches in any sport is between your ears, and so I I've been just grinding them how great they are, and that. They have to go in there with confidence and they have to walk the walk. And, you know, you can be classy and respectful. And, you know, Roger Federer, I, I use that example all the time, is you don't have to be an ar arrogant when you're doing it. But, uh, you know, in his head, his ego is huge. And, I mean, Serena, her ego is huge. And these guys just have to get there. And, and I think they are. I, I think they're, they're coming along little by little. And, you know, and I really focus on feeding off their success. You know, anytime you win, of course, they sometimes come back to me and go, oh, I can't believe I won that. You know, it, it was, I, I didn't play my best tennis. Well, you won. You know, that's the, the, the task at hand is done. So um, if you win, gain confidence. And if you lose, bring two things to the drawing board that we'll work on. But um, I think they, I really do think that I'm breaking through on that. That, that that by conference we could we could be in good shape